Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. My name is Cynthia and if you are new here, I just want to apologize because this is not my normal setup and you guys are going to be in for a ride because this is going to be the most chaotic Amazon whatever you want to call this I have ever done. Like, ever. And fortunately, a lot of the stuff that I got this month on Amazon are currently with me. Sorry, that was my croc. <laughs> are currently with me on my trip to Hawaii. So, did I mention I'm in Hawaii? Yeah, I'm in Hawaii. Anyway, I did want to get this video out, so I had to go ahead and record it with a loud screaming fan in the background and just a lot of background noise in general. I'm also speaking a little bit quiet because I have quiet, quiet? I'm speaking a little bit quiet because I have family or just my mom and Mason out there and I don't want to be disruptive. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay guys, so I have actually broken this all down into three categories and fortunately enough, I did bring my iPad, but the three categories are gonna be generously three categories. Uh, self-care, culinary, and then beauty slash glam. So first we're gonna go ahead and start out with self-care because I feel like this is not the least chaotic actually. I was about to say least chaotic, but that's not true. Okay. So first I got these towelettes and these are quote biodegradable, biodegradable? Biodegradable towelettes. And the only reason I got this was because I have just, you can kind of see right now, I'm kind of getting flare-ups here and there of acne. And right now it's actually doing really good. It's just healing and a lot of what I have is just scarring that's trying to subside, but not as aggressive in terms of actual true breakouts. But anyways, I thought about trying something new. Not new in terms of like a chemical product, but new in terms of the vector in which I use those products on. And instead of using like a reusable towel or a reusable like scrub, thingy on my face I thought I would try doing something that's like more single use maybe one to two times using and then throwing away and this option was enticing to me because it is biodegradable and I try my best to reduce the waste that I expunge onto the planet and so I thought I'd give this a shot it is expensive so it is a little bit of a bullet but um, I will say that the the wipes are huge and I do have the wipes here so the wipes I actually cut in half because they're so big and this is even like cut a little bit more because I used a corner of it but so I cut these in half right so they're double this going this way so anyway they're really big I never use the whole thing so I started cutting them in half and I feel like it's been a lot better that way and I get two uses out of it and then I try to throw it away. It feels bad. It really does feel bad for me. I don't know if anyone's like that, if anyone else is like that, but it makes me feel a little bit bad. So anyway, liking those so far, like I said, my face is clearing up. It's hard to say if it's because of that or because of something else or just like it's a routine acne thing. I don't know. I just am trying that and seeing how I like it. And so far it's been pretty good. No true complaints so far. Next, we've got these little terry cloth arm, wrist, sweatbands, whatever you want to call them. And I basically use these for washing my face, not washing my face with it, but like I put them on my wrists when I need to wash my face. So that way my biggest pet peeve in the world, water literally streaming down my arm when I'm washing my face, doesn't happen. And it basically catches all of it. And you just, you know, throw them out in the washer after a couple uses, a few uses, hopefully not a couple and they're good to go. They stay pretty like dry and they're thick and they're comfortable, nothing like, nothing um, restricting on my hands. Anyway, that's kind of TMI, but basically just sweatbands. So if you are in the market for tackling a pet peeve like that, definitely use these. These have been a godsend, honestly the greatest hack ever. So 10 out of 10 recommend that. And they were cheap, came with three and I spent $7, so 10 out of 10. Next, we've got something that exploded today while I was commuting here via plane. And it was probably because of the pressure, but let me just, I, I, still, haven't, I still haven't even had the chance to clean it. So this is like fresh. So this exploded. This is my, what Mason calls our bunny cream. And Mason loves this stuff. It's so cool. I've mentioned it in the past. I literally can't even open it because it's so like, exploded and slippery and stuff. 
yeah, it's, oh my god, I think it's pressurized inside. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so it looks like this, and you can tell that a lot has been used, and yet it still is completely new looking at the bottom, it's flat, and basically it just has this like elasticity to it that once you scoop some out, it kind of flattened itself back. It's really viscous. I don't know what kind of chemical reaction or physical reaction is happening to make it do that, but it's really cool and it's um, a hyaluronic acid cream and it works amazing. It feels so good. If you have really irritated skin, at least maybe I shouldn't recommend this because I don't know everybody's skin, but I personally will have random moments where I have my skin gets really dry and irritated and everything I use stings really bad. And this, while it does sting a teeny tiny bit, does not sting anywhere near as much as anything else. I'll use like the most sensitive product, the most like creamy, oily product, even aquifer, and somehow things will end up stinging. But anyways, this doesn't end up stinging as severely for me and it does the job. It doesn't irritate my skin at all works very well. Anyway, Mason also really loves this and so I continue to buy it because as I continue to experiment with other like more pricier creams, I still continue to buy this because Mason loves it and uses it all the time. And it does, it does wonders for his skin. So considering literally the time I've been using it, the price point, the cute packaging that it comes in, all of that, seriously 10 out of 10 recommend. It's so cheap, like $12.56 is what it says for me right now. That is very, very cheap for a cream and a jar that's that big, in my opinion. And it works wonders, love it, staple every night, every, I use it every single day. So anyway, great buy, we'll continue to use it. All right, next is something that I don't actually have with me, but I do have at home. <laughs> and these are waxing strips. And so these are just like, I don't know, okay. Hold on, let me just explain myself. I have been experimenting with honey waxing and, or not honey waxing, sugar waxing, and it has been quite the effing nightmare. And I just, I keep trying and I wanna get it down because I hear that it's really good for your skin and it really reduces like the thickness of your hair and stuff like that. And eventually a lot of people say that their hair just kind of goes away entirely, which I don't really even understand, but Apparently it works, and I've seen lots of evidence to prove that it works, so I really want to try it on myself, but I just keep effing it up, and I don't know why, like, I, I feel like I catch on to things pretty quickly, or find a way to make things work, and this is just something that I cannot get to work. Anyway, that being said, I did go ahead and buy waxing strips, because the whole point of um, sugar waxing is it's supposed to be like more environmentally friendly, you're not using wax, whatever, and they recommend using like, you know, just like whatever cloth you have available. I was using my own little personal like towels, not like regular towels, but like napkin towels and it was just not working. Like I was able to wash it out, but I was like, I need to get something that I can just throw away because this is just getting ridiculous or at least that I can just like leave soaking in water and not worry about it. But anyway, so I did buy these waxing strips, haven't used them yet, don't know how they are. They are very tiny, they're like this big. And that's not tiny, but you know, they're small, they're not huge. They're this big and you know, they look good. They look good, we'll see how it works. I'll probably hopefully check back in later on that, but they were only five bucks. So given the price, I felt like it was worth the buy. Last but not least in the self-care category are going to be these Crest whitening strips that I do not have with me. And these were $28.49, but I did use a 40% off my first subscribe and save thing and I was able to get it for much cheaper. Honestly, I've used this two or three, I think three times now. And like, it's supposed to have like, I think it's said it's supposed to show a difference within like the first use. If you use it for like an hour, it's supposed to be like a quick whitening. I like, I'll show the results. I didn't really see much of a difference. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but even after three times of using it, I didn't see a difference. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But I, you know, it's probably because I used a different whitening strip. This one is supposed to be like Vivid Plus, and I don't know what's plus about it because I swear when I used Crest whitening strips way back in the day, like the regular ones, they worked way better. So maybe I need to go back and try those again. I personally feel like this was kind of a fail, but you know, maybe I need to give it a few more shots or complete the entire like package or whatever you wanna call it. So we'll see with that. Right now, I can't even give it a rating because I don't know what's up with it. Maybe it's me, maybe it's not, I don't know. But it was $28, so it's kind of pricey for something that's kind of like iffy, so. All right guys, so this next category is culinary. 
and I honestly didn't know what to categorize this as so I just thought culinary was a cute enough word to throw this all into but one of these items really isn't culinary uh, because culinary means like of cooking anything for cooking or something like that and anyway so the first thing is a kettle and I have never in my life owned a kettle and Mason never owned a kettle so this is our first kettle together you know look at us being adults and all anyway we have a personally we have a primo like water like dispenser thing and it dispenses hot water so we've always used that but every now and then we run out of water and then we have no way to dispense hot water other than putting water in a, in a pot and boiling it or putting it in the microwave which is just a lot of work and a hassle so we decided to finally get a kettle and I swear I looked for like two hours at so many different kettles because I wanted one that was like aesthetically pleasing to look at and one that looked like it had really good reviews at a good price point that wasn't too cheap, wasn't too expensive, lots of stuff. Things that was, and also like efficiency is important to me. I don't want something that looks like it's going to be janky and not convenient for like everyday use. So anyway, also, oh, also. We wanted a kettle because we wanted to try this method that we saw on TikTok called scalding and or <laughs> everyone knows what the word scalding is but like scalding weeds and i have never heard of that before but basically instead of using like a pesticide you're supposed to get hot boiling water and just pour it on the weed and apparently it goes all the way down to the root and kills the weed through and through anyway we did want to give that a try and that kind of also pushed us to finally get a kettle used it finally at home i wish i had footage works fantastic love it obviously i need to have some time on my plate in order to give it a, a thorough full proper review but for the first time use great love it so much think it's so cute the only thing that's alarming to me is that the cap kind of like doesn't like i don't know i don't know anything about kettles so maybe this is correct but i don't like how easily it comes off it doesn't like fall off like if you tilt it or anything but like to me it's just weird that i can just like barely pull and it'll come off anyway that's kind of how like regular kettles worked back. Worked back. That's kind of how kettles worked back in the day. So I don't know why I'm like thinking that's weird. So it's probably completely normal. Anyway, 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 seventy dollars, really good reviews, and I dig through those reviews, you guys. I don't just like look at the reviews. Oh, good reviews, bye. I I dig through the reviews. I look at the one star reviews. I look at the five star reviews. I look at the most recent. I look at the top comments, or whatever you want to call it. I look at everything and this one in my opinion was the best one that I could find based off of my aesthetic, based off of my preferences. My favorite thing about this kettle is that obviously it's electric but that it has a spout that is like narrow. So I like that the spout was narrow and so I can pour it into a small little cup of tea or so a cup of tea. I can pour it into a small little teacup and anyway I thought that was nice. I'm rambling at this point. I just need to move on. Anyway, loved it, love it, love it. This love in past tense. I love it currently. And hopefully I will give more info on it in the future. We shall see. Next, we've got a cheesecloth. And now this is so random. And this was $10.40 for, for four yards. Apparently you can use this for, as a nut milk bag, a strainer, a filter, and then I guess just fabric, as fabric in general. Anyway, I did really like the idea of trying that and since it was only $10.95, I was like, let's go ahead and order that and throw it in the drawer and hopefully we'll use it within the next month. Last in the culinary category that literally is not culinary at all are these supplements. These are L-glutamine supplements and I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that I ordered these because of a TikTok. I thought I'd try it. You know, nowadays you just like me to try things because you never know what would work and you know i have mentioned in the past that i do have a little bit of problems with the digestive area for myself and actually let me just insert this cute little like photo that i saw on instagram it was so funny made me crack up so bad anyway and this is supposed to help with like leaky gut and stuff i don't know if that's what i have but i was like you know what i also like going to the doctor and being tested to see if i have leaky gut so let me just try this and these were 20 bucks and seemed reputable enough We'll see how they go. I'm trying them out right now. I don't use, I don't uh, consume supplements every single day. I think I, I'm on a regimen enough to consume them like three times a week at least, but I don't consume supplements every day. So I don't know if that will affect the way it's effective on me, but that is the way that I do things personally. 
So that wraps up the culinary category and next we are gonna move on to beauty and glam. All right guys, first up in the beauty and glam category is going to be the next shit show of the trip. And it's not because of the product, it's because of me. Or actually, better yet, it's because of James Charles. So, I, actually it's partially because of me, but I, I just wanna blame James Charles because I hate James Charles. But anyway, I got this Z palette that is so nice, feels such good quality, hefty enough. You wanna see what happened? You wanna see what happened on the flight? Yeah, yep, that's what happened. So <laughs> I depotted some of my eyeshadows and decided it was a good idea to bring them in my Z palette and they busted. But a great product nonetheless. The one grievance I do have with the Z palettes, not this one in particular, the other one that I got that's much larger is that it comes with like little metal pieces to attach to the back of your eyeshadows and there's just like not enough. It comes with like I think 10 and the, the eyeshadow palette is huge. Like you can you can fit at least like 20 eyeshadows in it. But it only came with like 20 metal pieces. So I don't know what was up with that. That's the one grievance I do have. But in terms of quality, in terms of all that, 10 out of 10, great, 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 love it. Um, just recommend getting some more pieces of metal <laughs> to accommodate for the difference that they will not give you. Next we've got this little brush and this is a mini flat top kabuki brush and this is in my routine used for concealer so this is actually the brush i used in the past and actually still currently use for concealer and even buffing like contour and stuff like that and it's from zoeva and this one's called the luxe petite buffer and as you can see my eyes are or my under eyes are significantly smaller than this brush so you can see my desire to get the smaller one and so far it i've only used it once and it worked great and it's very cheap i think well that's not cheap it's ten dollars for one brush so that's not cheap but it is great quality feels fine in terms of comparison to my zoeva one my zoeva one definitely is better in quality seemingly by like weight and just like the feel in general and this just feels like light and you know it doesn't feel cheap but it just feels cheaper so if that makes sense to you, that's the difference between the two of them. And I'm not really too mad about it because it does the job, but we'll see how it does in terms of longevity. Other than that, 10 out of 10, maybe nine out of 10, just in case. Yeah, anyway. Next we've got jewels. All right guys, so this is super cool, fun and hip. So I'm not gonna show you all the jewels I got. I actually don't even have them with me, but I can show you something that I made with the jewels and it is so cute very great price and super cute and fun perfect for a rave because i went to one but also perfect for nails and for makeup so yeah 10 out of 10 100 10 out of 10 love them so much and then last but not least in beauty and glam i got these rave sheer mesh sparkly pants that literally I, I probably saw like 10 other girls wearing at this festival that i went to loved them very comfortable very breathable obviously they're mesh and very cute very flattering for my body type and it seemed like it was flattering for many body types and for the price point 28.99 it is pricey but i in my opinion will keep them and use them again in the future for other things so i have no problem with the price and i think they're great 10 out of 10. oh that's it oh my god that's literally everything holy cow we're done okay all right guys i think that's it right yeah okay that's literally it oh my god okay so it wasn't as much of a shit show in terms of production but it was a shit show a little bit of a roller coaster with some of the items so not because of the items themselves but because of you know their travel but yeah that's it i hope you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful week and good luck on anything that you need luck on i'll see you guys in the next one bye